I'm going to show you how to make a recipe today for a white country bowl. It's very easy to make and it sets up very quickly. And the great thing about it is you can leave it to proof for two hours, four hours. I've even left it to proof for nine hours and come back and shaped it and baked it at that time. So it's pretty easy and I think you're going to love it. So let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is add water to the bowl. It can be warm water if you plan to make the bread quickly. Uh, if you're going to leave the bread for a long time to rise, use cold water. Then we add our salt and our yeast. And uh, I like to add some molasses because it, it makes a nice golden color to the dough. Um, but you can leave it out if you don't want to have the sugar. Then you stir well. Then we're going to add flour. Now this is all purpose flour, but you could use bread flour and you could substitute in um, one, two uh, cups of whole wheat flour instead. But if you do, use a little bit more water in the recipe. And then you want to stir it all well and then scrape the sides of the bowl so you have all of the flour mixed in. And this is going, this, this is wetting the flour. This is called autolyzing and we'll let it stand for 15 minutes and the gluten is going to start forming and building structure and it in the end it will help your bread rise higher and now uh, we're doing a little bit of kneading i'm using the dome uh, it's a great kneading tool and just spreading it out on the bowl and turning the bowl so that we're spreading in all directions it's kind of going to make a radial network of gluten and then we can use the scraper on the dome to gather all the dough in together. Then we want to cover it with some kind of a wrap. Uh, you want to use one of those beadwax, beeswax wrappers, that's good. But you don't want a skin to form. So here's what it looks like after about an hour of proofing. I'm just showing you. Um, just the stages and here's what it looks like after two hours and now it's actually ready to be shaped into a bowl so we're scraping the dough out of the bowl onto a floured surface and we're going to um, make sure we have enough flour on our hands to work with the dough and we're going to form the dough into a bowl by taking sections of the dough and folding them toward the center making a kind of a spherical shape going all around in a circle. And this, to ensure good oven spring, we want to have a tight surface to the dough, uh, creating a lot of tension on the top. So we're just pulling the dough underneath in our hands. And it becomes like an elastic band. And this will help the dough rise in the oven, get additional height. So we just place it on the baking pan on either parchment paper or some cornmeal or oatmeal or bran, and then let it rise until it's doubled in bulk. And when it's close to um, an hour or so, preheat the oven. And we're gonna bake it until it's golden brown and allow it to cool before cutting. But you can see it's risen quite well and it looks really delicious. There's your bread. Now you can also try shaping it in a banneton, which is a special basket for proofing dough. Uh, use an eight and a half inch one for this recipe, by the way. So it's a little easier, but it does run the risk of the dough sticking to it, which does deflate the loaf. So um, you can try it though. Uh, so you yeah, wanna make sure you have enough flour in there. And then you form the dough into a ball, like before, and place it topside down in the banneton. And then you just leave it until the dough has actually filled the banneton and actually topped it. Um, and then you, it, they usually come with these covers that you can place on. And it's just going to be about an hour, hour and a half, and then it will be ready to bake. So preheat your oven when you anticipate it will be done soon. Spread some cornmeal or oatmeal or bran on, or you can use parchment paper, and then turn the basket upside down and ease the dough out. 
You just want to very gently shake it until it drops out. Then bake for 25 minutes and lower the heat again, 10 minutes more. And then wait a couple of hours to cut it open. And there's um, a delicious looking loaf. You should give this bread a try because it's so convenient too. You can just leave the dough and take care of the things you want to take care of and come back and then bake it. And it comes out so delicious and it's easy. So give it a try and thanks for watching. And I'm also going to make another video on this kind of bread that's going to be a little bit better. Um, and, but it has a few more steps and you have to be around. Um, so you can watch that one too because it, it is a little bit better. But this one is just so flexible. Uh, I think you should give it a try. Bye.